big trouble for the Biden crime family. We know that this guy, Devin Archer, seen here on the far left of this photo in the same lineup with old Joe Biden and old Hunty Biden. We know that Devin is now cooperating with Congress, in particular, the Oversight Committee, because he got a subpoena or a threat for a subpoena that we will review. But the subpoena has not had to have been executed or exercised yet because Devin Archer apparently is cooperating. So we're going to go through this story, but a little bit of background on who this guy is. He is a former business partner to Hunter. Now here is Hunter and Joe hanging out. Devin Archer, according to Breitbart, tells us, that they are in talks to comply with the Oversight Committee subpoena, which we'll review. This is about knowledge about the Biden crime family's alleged $10 million Ukraine bribe and other additional transactions. We're gonna hear James Comer explain to us might be as much as 20 to $30 million donos. On Monday, the House Oversight Committee requested that Archer testify but he's negotiating a later deposition date. We're gonna go through the subpoena. Archer is a Biden family business associate and he's quote, Hunter's best friend in the business, was in legal trouble in 2022 for defrauding a Native American tribe. And he was ordered to pay $43.9 million back over to the victims, a lot of money. And we also know that prior to his arrest for defrauding the Native Americans, Archer served in 2014 with Hunter Biden on the board of Burisma, a Ukraine-based energy company. That's the same company that allegedly is in the FD-1023, which is the form that says that one of the top executives, presumably the CEO, at Burisma was interfacing with this confidential human source, communicating that he had paid Joe and Hunter $5 million a piece to get this prosecutor off their backs. Joe was vice president at the time, and guess what? The prosecutor went off their backs. Archer was by Hunter's side for decades. They attended Yale together in the 1990s. He went on to become the vice chairman for finance for John Kerry's presidential campaign that failed. He connected with college classmate Chris Hines, which was Kerry's stepson and another Biden family business partner. Archer was an intricate member of the Biden family business, and he's going to be working with Congress now. Some of his largest deals involved Bohai Harvest, an entity controlled by Chinese interests. Breitbart said that in 2013, Hunter Biden helped start a Chinese private equity fund called Bohai Harvest. The American partners held their interest through a company called Rose Mont Seneca Thornton, Senate investigations revealed that a Russian billionaire, Yelena Batarina, transferred 3.5 million bucks to this organization, raising concerns about Hunter's relationship. And we know how bad this story is. Where there's a ton of smoke, there is traditionally fire, and Congress is on it. James Comer says that they've got evidence that there was 20 to 30 million dollars of transactions that got paid over to the Bidens. Well, if this is all true about a sitting president when he was vice president, influence peddling, accepting money from uh, foreign nationals so that he could turn around and, and, and make changes in policy for America so he could pocket the money. If that's true, why isn't he impeached already? And if it's true that the FBI is doing nothing about it, why isn't Christopher Wray on his heels as well? Those are great questions I ask every day. Look, Christopher Wray has no control over the FBI. One thing that I've learned from dealing with Grassley's whistleblowers is that this is an organization in disarray. No one has confidence in leadership at the top. You have bureaucrats, deep state bureaucrats who are running the show. They're partisan. They want to get Donald Trump. They don't care what Joe Biden does because Joe Biden can be controlled. So we have issues with that is a big allegation that DOJ, the FBI, the intelligence agencies, they have leverage on their own president because they know that they've got evidence of Joe Biden's collusion with foreign entities and bribes from Ukrainian Burisma businessmen. Yeah, but my investigation is about following the money. We're going to continue to follow the money. And Maria, I can assure you there's more money that we're going to be able to identify that was transferred between foreign nationals in other countries and the Biden family. This is going to be hard for Joe Biden to explain, and it's not going to go away. This wow. is going to be an issue. And I think eventually the mainstream media will, will turn on Joe Biden and start asking the real questions. What did your family do to receive all this money? Wow. What number are you up to now? How much have you identified of the money he's taken in? We have more bank records coming in, but we're going to exceed 10 million this okay. week. Right. And I think we'll get up between 20 and $30 million. Woo! Okay. Thank you.
20 and 30 million dollar donos over from some very gracious Ukrainian foreign business people all going over to the Bidens. Just gifts. It was 10 million, now 20 to 30. Big, big numbers out there. But this is what Congress sent over to Devin Archer. And this is what prompted his cooperation. This came from the Oversight and Accountability Committee James Comer out of Kentucky chairman. He sent this over to Mr. Schwartz, who is the lawyer for Devin Archer. He says, hey, Matthew Schwartz, attached is a subpoena from Congress. You don't like that. Anytime you get something like that, that's not a good thing, especially if you're Hunter's business partner. Saying that that subpoena requires Devin Archer's participation in a deposition. The rules say we can do this. Here's why we are. The committee is investigating foreign nationals attempt to target and coerce high ranking US officials and their family members by providing money or benefits in exchange for policy actions. The committee is considering solutions. We have identified Mr. Archer as possessing information related to our investigation and we want his testimony. Now, both information that the committee has reviewed and other public reporting indicates that Mr. Archer played a significant role in the Biden family's business deals abroad, including, but not limited to, China, Russia, and Ukraine. Additionally, while undertaking these ventures with the Biden family, your client, Devin Archer, met with Vice President Biden on multiple occasions, including at the White House. Mr. Archer's testimony is critical to the committee's investigation in Congress. They say that Mr. Archer was Hunter Biden's business partner in a number of transactions involving foreign nationals and foreign companies. He was associated with corporate entities that the committee has identified and the Biden family's role in each one of them. Furthermore, he, Devin has significant information regarding the purpose of these companies and the relevant documents that we need. And so as part of this investigation, we want to craft solutions directed at fixing problems in the vice presidency. They say, we've been investigating the national security implications of vice presidents and we want to change disclosure laws. We also intend to craft legislation that would deliver more transparency to the American people. They say they want it to deter foreign interests and protect people in the presidency. And so as chairman, Comer says, I urge you to cooperate speedily and in good faith with the committee's subpoena. Please let me know if you have any questions. Sincerely, your friend, James Comer. Now, this is the actual subpoena. So this doesn't seem like it was complied with, because this date is in the past. So the subpoena says, by authority of Congress to Devin Archer, this is a valid subpoena, right? So there's a lot of threats of subpoenas being flown around in Congress, but they are actually executing on them. Christopher Ray got one, he denied it. They tried to hold him in contempt. We'll see what happens with that. Here, Devin Archer got a subpoena and now he's cooperating. They wanted him there on June 16th. Obviously that date has come and passed, it did not happen, but they are still negotiating to get it done. This was to appear in front of the Committee on Oversight and Accountability for a deposition signed by James Comer. So presumably that is going to happen soon. And I cannot imagine that the Biden crime family is happy about that because this guy, Devin Archer, has a long history with the Bidens. The question will be, what is he going to dish out to the investigators? Sure, it will be worth covering.